I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Warlock's Tower. If you can copy this game, it's provided by the developer. This is a game with, obviously, a very strong uh, Game Boy-inspired aesthetic, and uh, is there like an audio version of aesthetic English? English, English. There's an English and an English option. I love that. We're definitely going for English. Wait, Twitch? Is Twitch integration? That is cool, but I'm not, I'm not doing the Twitch arena today. Um, this is a puzzle game, and it could cause me to have brain issues. So, oh wait, let's go back. Uh, let me just delete my save data here. Yeah, there we go. What? No! Yes! Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Warlock's Tower. The evil warlock, master of the dark arts, has set out to destroy the world from atop his life-draining tower. He is to deplete nature's resources and extinguish all those who have shunned him. To prove, however, that everyone in fact loves him, the greatest nations have signed a peace message. If only he could know that he's not at all loathed. But who would be brave enough to deliver it? Enter Tim, the boldest of mailmen. Will he be able to reach the top of this accursed tower and deliver his message and save the entire world? Stay tuned. Is the WICD case? Arab me. Walk like a mailman. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, the gimmick of this game is that each time you move... Oh, he's playing on his DS. Each time you take a move, you take a life. So you only got three lives, so you gotta get the three up. I really like the, the use of the Game Boy. I don't know if it's like, if they actually compose everything on Game Boy, but it sounds authentic enough. Turn that up a little bit. Let's see, it's tour. Oh, right. The, the game does a pretty good job of teaching the mechanics. It kind of, oh. It composes simple little situations like this where, hey, if you... Oh, right, the, the level names. I forgot to... Every gem counts. Uh, it kind of gives you little hints with the level names sometimes. Hello, mailman. Be welcome to my beautiful cursing towers. I have mail for you. I am going helping to bring you the letter, so be attention. Some rooms you need to super gem to exit. Super gems give five of life. No three only. Because this is the English they were talking about. It's only the wizard that has the English. It is gem of very usings. I love the, uh, the, uh, is that super text mesh or is that home world? But I love, I really miss when games would do, like, the fancy text effects. And I love that some indies are doing it. Like, um, Burrito Galaxy has amazing text effects. I can't wait for that game to come out. But yeah, the game does a good job of, you know, it does what any good puzzle game should do. And it gives you a small contained thing. Like, shortcuts are evil. What could that mean? Obviously, the shortest route is O. Yeah, it gives you small self-contained levels to make your mistakes early on, learn the tricks. And that's the thing where it can be very cruel of a game to not let you make a mistake until later on when the mistake really matters. What you really want to do, like, it's why the first Goomba is there in Super Mario Bros. 1-1. The first Goomba is there, so you learn that Goombas kill you right at the start of the game. And, you know, it's it seems redundant for a lot of players that have played other games first. But it can be really important to just, you know, let people stumble into into the bad thing early. I had, there's this game called Crescent Pale Mist, and you need to teleport to get past this one thing. But you never teleport until that point, and it's like four levels into the game and like I had forgotten there was even a teleport function the order matters each time you pick up a gem the value replaces your current value so the order you get gems matters a lot so yeah, we actually need to get this three gem first so I played a bit, bit of this just to get the hang of it um, Tim don't be fooled and there may come a point where I in fact have to bail out because it is puzzles and solving puzzles that you don't know how to play like there's a reason lots of people either don't let's play puzzle games or they will in fact oops um 
a lot of people will just play the game first and like beat the game before they do a let's play of it. I usually don't have time to do that though, so I just do quick looks and I just... My plan is to just bail if I get extremely stuck. There we go. So I have played these first set of levels. Um, I think I don't. I haven't beaten this dungeon though. Use the mouse to look around. I'm controlling the right analog stick. I do appreciate the dual modality of the hints. Be enough? Yeah, just barely. Alright. <laughs> I've got either a cold or just allergies. Probably just allergies. Um, and I... That's why I wanted to start. I figured this would be a fairly quick... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, we gotta go the long way. Uh, how do we go the long way, though? But yeah, I just wanted to do something quick uh, before I start sniffling like a beast again. I'm not sure what kind of beast sniffles, but that's the kind of beast I am. I love his multiple idle animations. I think... wait. What do you mean? But I need... Oh, I see! I gotta think out of the box for some of these. Now I get it, okay. Yeah, I just thought I would do a quick look. Because I usually only do quick looks for puzzle games. And I think I've got, you know, maybe another 5-10 minutes in me before I start. It's different. I got, I got the eyes watering. That's something frustrating about... Uh, making videos and just anything that you have to do with your voice um, anything that negatively impacts your voice suddenly goes from being you know a minor annoyance like I can do programming work no problem um, without uh, I screwed up um, I won't do my best programming when I am uh, all cold it up, but I can absolutely do it. But with voice stuff, I'm either at the top of my game or, you know, it's garbage. You know, just be sniffling. Now, there's no really no amount of editing you could really do. Not for you know something like semi live, like a let's play. What the? Mail dude, be beware!d There is monsters in this room here. Is zombies monster? Every three stripes you takes, monsters makes movings. No, let zombie jump to you. Zombies like to eat feces. Oh no, they will eat your feces off. Oh, not my feces. Oh, my feces got eaten. All right, I understand now. I gotta avoid the feces. Two, three. Oh no! I miscounted. Okay. My poor feces. Three. One. Two. Frick. Alright, so one, two, three. This little... Wait. There we go. Okay. Not not as hard as feared. I like how the zombies are somehow happy. Wait, what? A zombie is a zombie does. Oh, is this one of those puzzle games where you have like kind of branching paths? My feces. Oh no. They're gonna be eaten. Oh, not my feces. Okay. Oh, frick. Ah, this is 
just the wrong time. I like when puzzle games have, like, um... There we go. Um, multiple paths and, like, or, like, a limited amount of skipping so that if you get stuck on a single level, you can play a different level, come back, because sometimes you just need to let your head clear a bit before you can, uh... Yeah, you know, I've, I've had that happen where I get stuck on a puzzle and I'm just thinking a stupid thing. Well, hail, message delivery person. What is your quest in this godforsaken tower? Mine is to bring joy to the common folk and evil monsters. Here to lend me your ears for a most beautiful song? It goes like this. Well, this is... Oh, no. You're not, you're not gonna trick me. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not... Hmm. I thought he was going for the, uh... The Bel Air, but not quite. It's the story of a hero from pixels afar. You don't get singing, you get dramatic voice, I'm sorry. Who's neither a knight nor a jolly bard. A hero of legend, or so tells the rhyme. For whose song and action are always entwined. The ballad has brought him to Warlock's domain, where thin air is vicious and movement is pain. Bound to stay still, he waits for the mail, on hopes of returning to his colorful tale. So what do you think? What? You didn't like it? You're just bad at understanding real art. You don't respect artistry. I'm going to go along with you to teach you about it. Oh no. I can't help you with the puzzles or the monsters though. I've made a nightly vow of only being useful in my own game. Oh god damn it. So let's go. Get on with it. Oh, I died. You can jump, but you can't, you can't derp around in place. Oh wait, I, I did take him with me, apparently. Frick. One, two, three, four. I don't think this is gonna go well. Yeah, no. I know it's their brains coming out, but it looks kind of like they have kawaii flowers on the side of their heads from a certain angle. I'll show you what I mean when they... when they, You gotta view it from the side. That's the way it, it looks. Uh, you can't see them because of the five, but... Maybe this way? I don't think it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, that... Alright, you know what? A key concern. Oh, it was a freaking tutorial for keys. Okay. Oh. Whatever. I don't need to clear that one then. Reach the factory. Ooh, I like the pallet swap! Oh. Underappreciated art is is palette swapping. I really wish more games would do palettes. They're so beautiful and cute. I love them. All right. Man, th that zombie level seemed out of place in terms of difficulty. Um, that seems bad. Yeah, I can't do that. Um, wait, I see. I see, I think. No? There we go. Yeah, I love me some palettes. And uh, I'm glad that some indie games go for the limited palette look or the palette swap look. There was... What was that game? There's like an action... Oh, I played the demo for it a while ago. I'm sure I'll play the full release at some point. 
I, uh, it started with an M. I can't remember it. But there was a Game Boy color styled game where, where you could switch palettes and stuff and you unlock them. Hellos! You have a package for me, but I have a thing to you too. Why don't you just take the package? You're right here. It is magic flag! It is to do some things rooms easier. You save positioning on room and if you're dead, you start from there. It is many helpful. I use it all the time. You can place a checkpoint at any vacant spot on the ground. You'll always start from the checkpoint if you die. Got to gamepad X. Alright, so we... We are getting of the magic flag. So I guess the point here was probably to put it on the where we got the key, but it's fine. Jailbreak! What is this? <clears throat> I love me a good idol. Idol animation. Um, frickeroni. I think I done hecked up. Yeah, I hecked up. Hmm. Is this really how you- wait. Wait, really? Wait, no. No way. Okay, there we go. I don't think this will work. No. So I gotta waste that? But... I don't think that worked. Those threes get in the way. Wait, no they don't, no they don't. Never mind, never mind. We're good, we're good. Okay. Alright! I expected to be stuck by now, honestly. This game has a better... A lot of puzzle games, indie puzzle games, tend to go 0 to 60 really freaking fast. I was just kind of expecting to be super frustrated, but this has been quite enjoyable. I think I'm still going to pause here after, um, hey Jess, after a few more minutes because, you know, quick look and everything. But, uh, I, I kind of expected to rage quit by now, and I'm really glad I haven't. I'll have to play this some more. Yo, yo, jeez, man, don't scare me like that. I was trying to, you know, figure out this stage, man. I don't need your help, Gramps. Try not to get in my way. Buzz off. Team talking with style, what? Oh, we have two characters. A pair of two. Oh no. She's helping, quote unquote. Oh, she is kill. I see how this works. So only one of us has to make it to the exit then. That's cool. Did... did... wait. What did she just do? Was her idle animation just like her head popping off her body? What was that? I'm sorry, I have to see that again. Oh, here she is. Do your idle. I, I could be imagining things, but I think it was something horrifying. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, 
Oh, no, I didn't get the five yet. Oh, I like the. This works really well with the cooperative step taking situation. I wasn't expecting that, but that that works really well with the step mechanic. That's pretty cool. The key to I guess we we better finish this world, eh? doomed myself. Oh, okay, no, I think you're supposed to go this way. Magically teleports with us. Oh, there's like, is there like a zo optional zombie level on each thing? Yep, that's death. Okay. How? That's not gonna work. There we go. Not too bad. So what does beating the zombie level get us? Oh, it's just optional, I guess. Interesting. Uh, I'll give you a peek at Factory B. How about how does that sound? What? How has you got here? Well, I can't care. Be attention to my Carnodal's belt. They're for riding only. What you don't want Carnodal's belt is? Pfft. You are so of dumbness. I want to eat my hat in rage. But I won't. Ugh. I hate when someone is so of dumbness that you just eat your hat in rage. I see. Okay. That feel when someone is so of dumbness that you eat your hat in rage. Conveyor belts make total sense for a game like this. Let it slide. We'll take one peek. Oh, you can move the zombie. Oh, no. Oh, I'm kill. Alright, so this is Warlock's Tower. This is really cool. I really enjoyed that. This is on Steam, and I think it's on Itch.io, but I know it's definitely on Steam. So, as always, links in the descri description. The, there will always be a link to the game in the description. If there is ever not a link, just yell at me and there will soon be one. <laughs>